Hello viewers, it's your short Skidaro here, and today I will be teaching you how to coat a magic eight ball. For all of you who don't know, this is what a magic eight ball is. It is basically a fortune teller, so just for showing you, let's see what fortune it is when we ask a question. Um, will this video get a few thousand likes? Concentrate to ask and ask again. Okay, I'll try. Okay, will this video get a thousand likes? Outlook good. You may not see it, but there's a small blue triangle here. Yeah, so that is what a magic eight ball is. And actually, I'll tell you a more better way of what a magic eight ball is after the intro. <laughs> So a magic eight ball is a fortune telling tool that has made its way into popular culture and a game for a novelty item. And that is what a magic eight ball, magic eight ball is. So actually let's tell what it represents. Why is it called magic eight ball? It is called it because of course you may have saw it. It looks like the number eight, eighth ball in the, in the game pool. Um, and it represents it because if you look in the middle, it looks exactly like that. And the guy probably made it just for design also. So next we'll be moving on to what it has inside. It has 10 positive vectors. It is certain. It is decidedly so. Without a doubt. Yes, definitely. And a few more. So next it has five neutral answers. Reply hazy. Try again. Ask again later. Better not tell you now cannot predict now, and concentrate and ask again. As you may saw in the time, it said concentrate and ask again. The first time I tried in before the intro. So now, there are actually five negative answers. Don't count on it. My reply is no. My sources say no. Outlook not so good and very doubtful. So now let's actually see what happens in the magic gate ball. So me, I have a question. And yeah, my trusty friend Robot here will say 1 in 20 answers, it will say, and randomly. So basically all you have to do is make it go random. Yeah, all you have to do is make it go random once you press enter. So yeah, it's actually kind of simple. Not as hard as you think. So now we'll actually go to the code. So let's start coding and today I'll be using PyCharm. It is an IDE. That abbreviation is Integrated Development Environment, and it is easy to code. And one more thing that it more info in the description. So if you want to know about this and want to do the, what we're doing, just look in the description and you can do it. So let's start. So first we have to type in import random. Import. Just press enter, then random. Just press enter again. Okay, so let's just do that. Next, we have to put print. Print. Next, bracket, of course. Double quotes. This is just a printing statement, too. Welcome to magic 8. So next, just go to the end and press enter and we're on the third line and just put the, not the title. Of course, another equal. Next, all you have to do is just copy all the 20 answers, not answers, like the responses. Uh, I already copied it. Press enter again. Response equals input. And I'm about to hate spelling mistakes. Input input bracket. If double quotes. Think think of a question and hit enter 
So as I promised you, it's just one line of code. The thing that we're just about to type is the actual code. The one that we, the stuff that we just did is just the preparation steps. But as you saw, import random, the first line of the preparation that we did is not blue. Import is not blue. And you'll see what will happen when we type the last line of code. So the first thing we have to type is print. that random dot choice just press enter and magic eight so basically um not actually we have to put magic eight answers but we'll just put it since i do you see the thing that just highlighted that is what we have to type in you can put whatever you want but i just put magic eight answers to be a little bit more specific so yep we just all we have to do right right now is press run so there's two ways to put this run you go into this run from the top press run magic ball or you can just press this play button so to be easier you just press this play button and go back to enter and since it says it says welcome to magic 8 since it printed and now since we typed it think of a question and hit enter that is what will show now go just go back just um go into enter and press enter yes so actually that oh, i didn't i didn't ask a question so it's not supposed to go so let's just try that again okay so run magic eight ball go to here and let me just think of a question okay will this year be good Will 2021 be good? Cannot predict now. Okay, I think we'll try out like next month or something. But let's just try that again. Okay, so I just press enter. Same question. Signs point to yes. So one more last time for more luck. And but this time I'll be using it in this magic eight ball. And let's see if the same thing happens. So. Will this year be good? Okay. Yes, definitely. Yup, it says the same thing. Sign point to yes, but not the exact same thing, but close to same. So that is basically it of how to make a magic eight ball in code. So I, I hope you like this program. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done it. And don't forget to turn on the notifications bell for the latest notifications and the other videos of the series Pro Python for Kids. So see you in the next video. Bye.